Android's Logcat tool allows you to trace events and see values of variables when the app is running. Logcat messages are displayed in Android Studio in the Logcat window. You can get to the window by clicking on the tab, which by default will be at the bottom of the screen, or you can go through the menu and choose View, Tool Windows, Logcat, or press the associated keyboard shortcut. To display something in the Logcat window, add a call to the Log class. As I showed previously, you can use a live template to create one of these calls, and by default, these templates put in a tag with a constant of tag, uppercase. That won't exist automatically in your code. You have to create it yourself. For this first demonstration, I just want to know when the onCreate function is being called. So I'll get rid of that colon and space, and then I'll run the application. Now, the Logcat tool receives a constant stream of information from the device, and finding your particular message might be a bit challenging, but that's why the tag exists. I'll select and copy that string, then I'll click into the text box in the Logcat window and paste it in. And now I'm filtering on that string. If you create a string for your specific class, you'll see all the messages for that class. Now there's lots of options in the Logcat window. You can filter your Logcat messages by level. When I call log.i, that means I'm looking for informational messages. But if I say I only want to see anything more important than that, starting at warn, then I won't see the message. If I go back to info, the message reappears. Verbose is the most permissive. That means show me everything. You can also use regular expressions to search for strings, and you can set other kinds of filters over here. There's one very important use of Logcat that every Android developer should know. If your app crashes, a stack trace will appear in the Logcat window, but because of all the noise that's constantly happening, it can be hard to find. I'm going to set up a situation that guarantees a crash. I'm going to create a mutable variable in Kotlin that's with a var keyword, and I'll name it message, and I'll set its data type to string question mark, which means it's nullable, and I'll initialize it with a value of null. Now I'll set a variable called upper, and I'll set its value to message exclamation exclamation to uppercase. The double exclamation expression means if this variable is null, that's an assertion, crash the application. So now when I try to run the application on the device, it tries to start and then immediately stops. I'll come back to my Logcat window and I'll use a special tag of Android Runtime. Every stack trace that's generated because of a crash will have this tag. And now I can look at the exception that was generated. I can see that it was a Kotlin null pointer exception. And down here, there will be a link to the code that caused it. I'll double click on this bar again to shrink this window down. Then I'll scroll down a bit and find that link again. I'll click there and I jump to the code that was causing the error. The Android runtime tag is a critical tool. When your app crashes on the device, you should immediately go to the Logcat window, filter on Android runtime, and you'll be able to find the error and figure out how to fix it.